Hello guys, so today we're going to look at a custom restaurant menu textile. The three dots, or the four dots, or the five dots, however many dots you like, before you get to the price. Creating a custom restaurant menu textile and templates in Affinity Publisher version 2 for the iPad by Affinity Inspiration 2023. Now our goal is to create a style that creates the menu items on the left and the price on the right of the text box. And you see this quite often. And these are, this is something that really needs to be set up quite a lot. And I want to put dot leaders between the items and the price. And I only want to use one text box, not a dozen text boxes all over the place. And they get out of line and end up in a big mess. We just want one text box with price and item. Now the goal is simplicity. Initially this mission can seem quite complex and daunting but fear not. We start simply and I try to keep it that way. We need to set up the style bit by bit but only the bits we need and finding your way to the style setup is the first hurdle and that's the bit we're going to solve. Not all that really technical stuff you can see there we're not going to deal with that. As you gradually build your style, you'll delve into that a little later. But now I'm showing you how to set up the menu item, the dots and the price as a style that you can copy across to any document. So getting started, the first thing we need to do is set up our tab stops. Very important. We can't use the defaults. And in fact, I don't think the document comes with defaults. For this, just draw out a text box. I've, all I've got there is a 6x4 um, document, a normal photograph size, just to use as a base. So I've drawn out a text box around that. You can tell it's a text box because it's got those little triangles in the top left and the bottom right corner. I'm just staying within the margins of my 6 inch by 4 inch card. You only actually need the text box for this. Now make sure you have the text box selected and type the word item 1. Make sure you have rulers and also text rulers switched on. And you do that by tapping that the, um, the expansion icon in the thing that looks like a windscreen wiper up in the top right hand corner there, second from the corner. Tap that and you'll get a drop down list and down there it says text rulers and rulers. Make sure they're both turned on. Otherwise you'll be casting about and looking all over the place and saying where the heck is that thing he's talking about. Well there it is. Your ruler line should look like this now. So you've got item 1 and you've got the text ruler line showing. Very nice. And it's 110 millimetres it looks like wide that I've set that. That's, that's your margin width by the look of it. Okay, and a bit of a tab space there. Now we need to place the first tab stop on the ruler line. And this is really easy. Go across to where you want it, say at the 90 millimeter mark. Tap within the ruler line and a tab stop will appear. It looks like a letter L and you can adjust its exact position by dragging it along the line either way, left or right. Now we've got it exactly on 90 there I think. You can probably check that in the transform um, panel as well. I don't know if it needs to be exactly exact but that's pretty close. Now we want that tab facing the other way. So it refers to the contents up to that point. So just tap the L of the tab and a context bar will appear. And in this case select the reverse L. And tapping anywhere else will make the make the bar make the um, drop down list or the context toolbar go away. And now you'll see that the bar is facing the other way. There's a close up of it. Now, if you look at the next line in that context toolbar, you'll see the option for the leading character. Select the dot. Nothing happens, but it will later on. Make sure you're at the end of the item 1 text and press tab. A 
a row of dots will appear as if by magic. You'll notice I've split my keyboard so I can see the tab key. Your keyboard will probably, almost certainly, be different. But you can see the reverse L at the 90mm mark and the row of dots from the end of item 1 up to that point, which is just what you want on a menu so the customer can easily find the price over the other side of the page where you're trying not to tell them that they're eating a really expensive meal. <laughs> Prices. Now I can enter the tab stops to control price alignment because if you just type the price on that line where the tab's gone up to, it will slowly and steadily work back towards item one. Well, you don't want that because it's all going to be out of line. So enter two more tab stops in the bar as shown, just shy of the 90 and just short of the end at 110 there. Don't add the leading dots. Unless you really want to, remember if you tap on the tab item itself, it will bring up that context toolbar. But I didn't want tabs on the front of mine, but you might. Now when you press the tab key again, you jump to the price entry point. So let me run through that. You've gone to the end of item 1, press the tab key on that setup and you've got all the dots. Now, if you're entering the price, press the tab key again so your cursor is at the next tab stop. Now you can type in £2.50. Press the enter key, you'll be down to the next line and you can press, you can enter the next item. Now when you press tab key, as I say there, right at the end, you jump to the price entry point. Remember that. Now menu items are styles. This is really simple. Now let's do all that as a custom style. No mystery, we're going to use a paragraph style. On the context toolbar, the main one up the top there, select the paragraph option, then select new and give it a meaningful name. I called mine menu item one and I also made one called menu item two, which you might notice there later on. It will be placed in your list of styles for this document. Now it's not possible to export a style, but it is possible to import a style, which sounds counterintuitive, but when you think about it, it's not really. That's why we've created this document called Menu List Styles Template. So you have a look at the styles you've got there, the menu dot items and the prices, that you've just created, you can make them any colour you like, any size you like, any font you like, you can do anything you like with them and save them, and there they'll be, saved as your style. Now, because from this AF Pub document, we can import the style directly into a new document without having to set it all up again. So if you've spent hours setting this up, you don't want to have to do it for every document create. Gee, you just want to be able to import it. So, new document, import style, open text box, apply style. What could be simpler than that? And there it is in, in practice. A new document, you can see the text box I've got there, the rulers are turned on. Open a new document, place a text box, box open the style panel and import the styles. Now, off it'll go to your document folder Look for the document that you created, and that's this one, the Menu Styles um, AF Pub document. Locate your Save Styles document and open it. The embedded styles will be displayed. Select those you need and click OK. Now you can see I've got the base one is turned off there, and Menu 1 and Menu Item 2 are turned on. So you just turn those on, load the document, and there it is, your new document. Your new document will now contain your new styles, ready to use. There it is, menu item 1 and menu item 2. Type in some text and apply that to it. And you'll see in the, um, in the box up the top, the, the ruler, the appropriate tab stops will apply and everything else will work the same. You can embed as many styles as you like in that document. Your styles list document 
can contain as many styles as you like. Just be careful not to overwrite any of the default styles already in your document and only import the style you want. And if you want some really funky fonts for your menu, they're right there. Just follow the link. Very, very fancy. Okay, thank you for watching. Affinity Inspiration. Please subscribe. Tick the like button and share with your friends. See you in the next video. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.